Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and one of the questions I get asked very often about the Windows 10 May 2020 update or version 2004 is um, improvements in gaming. Is there you know differences in gaming? Well technically if you have the latest drivers installed and that's the important thing because I see people saying well you know my games are not performing as they did before um, it, the problem is the driver, the graphics driver, needs to actually work well with all the new features of Windows 10 2004. So make sure your graphics adapter drivers are updated for the optimized May 2020 update versions. So um, NVIDIA, uh, Intel, and uh, AMD all have updated their drivers for the latest hardware. There's improved um, performance because there's improved um, compatibility and also the new types of uh, display drivers that are in version 2004 makes better use of DirectX. Um, also, if you use multiple screens for gaming, there was one thing that sometimes gamers were actually going crazy and was the fact that they had, uh, sometimes there was a little glitch like a uh, you could see, um, you know, little moment where the screen went black for like, a, 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 you know, a, a tenth of a second when you were using two displays, but each display had a different refresh rate, stuff like that. Those are all fixed in here. Also, the fact that now you've got um, game mode and the game mode is really, really here to improve and make sure that your... PC is not going to, you know, stop you from your favorite game by giving you notifications and stuff. So game mode is also something that is more powerful in version 2004 to make sure that there's no interruptions of your gaming for updates or for any types of notification. There's also graphics performance preferences that you can actually choose. So depending on the app that you want to use, you are now able to choose which one is going to, um, you know, what game is going to use what CPU. So for example, here, I've got Asphalt, Asphalt 9 Legends. I can let Windows decide, but you know, if you've used a multi-GPU computer before, you know that that is not always the best way because sometimes it doesn't switch to the one that you want so you can of course use the different um tell it to use the different um gpus or the, the one that's specified that you want and then save it and of course you can use desktop apps and microsoft apps so you can choose whatever app and then you browse to the app itself and choose what cpu or gpu now i wish this would have been a little better. I wish it would have been just a list of games and apps. Uh, you you gotta go, you know, you gotta go to the different, um, especially in desktop apps. You gotta go to the different folders and subfolders and know where the game executable is and so on. It's not user friendly, but still, it's you know an improvement, and uh, it it's moving ahead. For the rest, the refresh rates and everything should be better. There's better optimization of the uh, memory support for games and search indexing, which is often a cause of problems for gamers because if the search indexer is too heavy on disk use, it can kind of stutter the games. They kind of freeze for a fraction of a second before they continue. While search indexer is modified to be more efficient, first of all, and it's also modified to not be working or used while you are gaming so pretty much everybody with the latest drivers should see improvements and of course there's support for all the new technologies of graphics adapter the latest you know shaders and and, and uh, all the uh, different effects that any uh, X any graphics GPU with the um, use of direct X can actually give you in performance so you should literally see that your games run much better in version 2004. I have a few games I play, you know, Halo. Um, I've, I've got a few graphics games. 
uh, graphics intensive games like uh, um, you know different others uh, that I purchased like uh, uh, Blair's like a new version of Blair Witch Project uh, and stuff like that they all seem to work really really well uh, with the latest version of Windows 10 so um, just make sure that you have the latest drivers just make sure you have the latest drivers uh, to make to have this working like you want or else you will have problems if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.